Hello Aries and welcome to my channel Awaken with Nancy. This is going to be your May. Oh my gosh, are we already in May? This is going to be your May 2020 Soul Connections in Separation Love Reading. So this is going to be for those of you who are in a deep soul connection. Okay, you're very drawn to this person and you feel something very deeply for them and you can't really explain why, but you know that you are very, very connected and you know deep in your heart that they are a significant part of your journey, but you're in separation and you're probably in no communication. All right. So that is who I'm channeling for. I am switching things up on my channel and this is going to be my focus. This is where I've always wanted to focus my energy and spirit has spoken. And so I'm probably not going to be doing the general readings unless I have time. Um, so if that's not your thing, I totally understand, but this is where I'm going. This is the direction I'm going in. Um, I did want to make a couple of announcements. Um, one is if you would like to book a private reading with me, I will click a link. Um, I'm sorry, no. I will pin a comment down below with a link to my website, awakenwithnancy.com, and you can simply click and be directed to my website and book online. Another thing that is coming up that I wanted to mention, a lot of people are reaching out to me via email and they want free private readings. And you guys, I don't do that. <clears throat> so please just don't ask. Um, you know, I need to pay my rent and buy groceries just like everybody else. This is your free love reading. I don't do free private readings. I would love to, but I just can't. Okay. Um, if you want to do some sort of exchange, if you have something, you know, a value, to me that adds value to my life and you want to do some sort of exchange, that's a possibility. All right. Um, okay. Thank you for listening to that. And you guys, this is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, if it doesn't feel like your story, then it's not your story. All right. I did a grounding meditation and I pulled some energy, overall energy for the read. And I'm going to go through that. And then we're going to look at, you know, how your person's feeling about you. Um, the energy can also flip flop you guys. Okay. And man, woman, it doesn't matter. It's all just energy. Okay. Same sex, opposite sex. It just doesn't matter. All right. So what we're getting is, um, health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So this is a message for some of you. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If you have been neglecting your health on this journey, it is time to really start taking care of yourself. Okay. Loving yourself from the inside and also the outside. What we put in is very important for our health, what we put into our bodies. So pay attention to your thoughts, pay attention to your diet, um, you know, the water that you're drinking, if you've been, um, you know, drinking too much alcohol, that's something for you to look at, okay? It all matters. And we've got Fergun. This has been coming up for a lot of my private clients and a lot of the signs. This is become a loving mirror. What I'm really feeling from this is you and your person may be mirroring each other in some way, and you're going to know what that means. Okay. You may need to do a little bit of soul searching to figure out what that is, but basically they're reflecting something back to you. So, um, just be loving and kind, um, mirror to them kindness and unconditional love. And then that is what you will get back from them. Okay. And then we've got a couple messages from my chakra wisdom Oracle deck. And I am going to read from the guidebook because these are, um, 
you know, these are pretty detailed messages and I'm just getting to know these cards. We've got destiny and this is beautiful. Um, so what that is telling me, this is related to our crown chakra, you guys, and this is pretty neutral. Um, this is about universal consciousness, enlightenment, wisdom. And what it says, destiny, black and white, black is the shade that demands to be taken seriously as it absorbs all the colors. Black emits the warm, powerful energy of the protector. Unlike black, white is isolated. Together they balance and create. You will be guided by your angels to what is best for you and all concerned. Wow. Okay. I'm loving that. I am just feeling that, yes, this person is part of your destiny and your angels and your spirit guides are going to keep revealing your destiny to you step by step when they feel you're ready. Okay. Um, together we are stronger than alone. Take a risk. Dare to have your life the way you decide. Are you willing to make sacrifices to have what you desire? Um, key ideas are true love. Take a stand. Positive omen. Radical thinking. Deep satisfaction. Ability to change. The key words are love, pathway, and faith. So yeah, um, just, and we're getting the love message again. This is about being a love, a loving mirror for your person. This is part of the pathway. Um, your destiny is going to be revealed to you guys, but then we've got this difficult energy. It is impasse. And this is related to the second chakra. This is the sacral chakra. It's orange and it's about our feelings, our emotions, and it is about intimacy. Um, so I want to read this to you guys. Reggie Rust, what's done is done. This card can indicate the end of great emotional upset. The power to change direction for the better is supported in Rust. Your angels appear to protect you in the long run. This is a, t a detour, not a no. Be in the here and now. Things will change. Go where you are led. And destiny is talking about this pathway for you guys. Okay? So <clears throat> the path is obstructed. Reroute. This is not an ending. The goal is still there. Do not wait for your present situation to change. Stay focused and find another path. This is just a change of direction. This is about wisdom, opportunity, and surrender. And so this is really about letting spirit guide you on this journey, okay? So let's get in and see what your person's energy is towards you. I hope you guys are liking these new readings. I think you are based on the views and the comments, but I would love to hear how you're feeling about them. I have switched them up quite a bit. So I want to get one of these Oracle cards. Pause in your journey. Okay. Epic. Epic. Um, Okay, so this is how your person is viewing you guys. This is interesting because we've got impasse and now we've got pause in your journey. And we've also got the destiny card. Um, what is this other one? Yeah, be a loving mirror. Okay, yeah, so obviously there is a pause between the two of you right now. And um, you're, you're both at an impasse and what I'm feeling is you're both probably trying to find a way back to each other, trying to reroute this path because you do feel that there is something very destined about this connection. This is beautiful. We're getting repeating messages and I'm using a lot of different decks in these readings now because I want to see if there are, re you know, themes and repeating messages and there usually are. There are usually um, cards that will come through several times. And so that is, you know, very specific message to pay attention to when that happens. 
we've got the King of Pentacles. We've got the King of Swords. The Nine of Cups and the Three of Wands. So how your person is viewing you. Um, King of Pentacles, very abundant, very stable, very grounded, very practical, very mature. Um, King of Swords. This is, um, you know, a mature energy also, but it's not as warm as this earth sign. It's a little cold. And this is, this could be, um, they could be wanting to offer something to you very, very significant, like, um, you know, happily ever after, forever and always, and their undying love. But they're seeking clarity. Um, I think they're on a journey to find clarity. I think they're very close. But this is kind of a cold, detached energy. All right. And then we've got the Nine of Cups. This is about satisfaction and wish fulfillment. And then we've got the Three of Wands. So we've got a pause over here. And the Three of Wands is, is about waiting for something to happen. It's waiting for your ship to come in. Um, it's also very expansive. So I'm just feeling that even though it, there is a pause within this connection, your person sees the potential to take it all the way with these two kings showing up and the Nine of Cups and the Three of Wands. It's um, the, the possibilities are endless within this connection. At the bottom of the deck, we, yeah, okay. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So they are definitely wanting um, to communicate with you, to come towards you and talk about restarting this connection and, and taking it to uh, the next level, to a serious commitment is what I'm feeling. All right, um, let's see. Let's see where they are on their journey. Okay, where they're at on their journey, we've got the Page of Pentacles. So this is not the King of Pentacles, you guys, and this is coming under pause. So what I'm getting from this is that they are feeling like they don't have enough to offer you right now. And this is the, a theme in the collective. If you watch other readers, and I'm sure you guys do, this is a theme. Um, if you're dealing with a divine masculine, and the majority of my viewers are women, if you're dealing with a divine masculine, this is a theme. He is not feeling like he has enough to offer the divine feminine right now. So this is where he is on his journey. He's planning though, and he's working toward becoming this king. Um, he wants to be this king, but right now he's not there. Um, he may um, be building up his money, um, but he's wanting success, okay? He wants to be successful. He wants to get to that king energy. And we've got the Eight of Swords. This is, um, and this is coming under the King of Swords. So very, um, very stuck in their head about this. It's like they want to come towards you. They see the possibilities. They want to be successful, but they're just feeling like they're not good enough. They don't have enough to offer you just yet. They, um, they could be a bit younger as well. And then we've got the moon. Um, so these are those fears coming up. When I see the moon with um, next to the Eight of Swords, they are just fearing that they're never going to get to this place of, you know, satisfaction and wish fulfillment because they're at the page of coins. 
At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Eight of Wands again and the Ace of Wands, okay? So they are definitely wanting to restart. They're wanting to come towards you. They want a new beginning. They want to communicate. The Eight of Wands is coming through twice at the bottom of the deck. So repeating message, you guys pay attention to that, please. They do want to communicate with you. I want to see what is blocking them, what is challenging them. And I'm going to pull, you know what, I'm going to take these down and I'm going to reshuffle to see if there's a repeat. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Workaholic. And this, this is um, the blue chakra. It's our uh, throat chakra. This is about honesty and communication. This is coming in under the page of pedicles. So what's challenging them is being a workaholic right now. They are, you know, building up their coins so that they can come towards you is what I'm feeling, but it's challenging them. They may be very burnt out and, you know, right now people are losing their jobs. They're losing money. Um, so they could be very, very frustrated by this. It's like they may have been well on their way. Um, because this is what they're wanting. This is how they're viewing this connection. They want to offer you something of value. Um, they may have lost some money and they're working really hard to get it back. And then we've got acceptance. And um, this relates to the root chakra. This is, um, you know, our, our sense of security and stability. And it's also... Um, you know, what gra what grounds us to the earth. It's our root chakra. So I would say that their sense of safety and security and survival is, um, you know, really challenging them right now. And this is coming under the six of um, wands and the king of pentacles. And they're having a hard time accepting reality is what I'm feeling. They're having a hard time accepting that um, a lot of their money may have disappeared. Um, yeah. They may be having a hard time accepting that this connection is on pause. They're, they're feeling like they ne like they're never going to find their way back to you, like they're never going to be ready to come back to you and offer you what you deserve is what I'm feeling. So they're, um, I, I feel like they're kind of burnt out, kind of burnt out. We've got the queen of cups and, um, this is challenging them. This is under the eight of swords and the king of swords. So I would say that their emotions and their intuition are challenging them. And I think it's related to a lot of different things. I think it is related to money. I think it's also related to, you know, this connection. And they, they do have deep love for you, but next to this acceptance card, it's almost like they want to shut off their emotions because they're not, they're not yet ready to come back to you. And that's why the King of Swords is showing up. And we've got the Eight of Cups. This is what's challenging them. So one of you walked away in this connection. Okay, there was something that both of you needed to learn. So you both had to go on this journey. Um, it's, it cha it's challenging to them. It's like they didn't really want to walk away. Um, but they do want satisfaction. And this is coming under the Nine of Cups and the Moon. So, you know, the Nine of Cups is a progression. It's like they're getting there, but they're not there. And then we've got the Page of Cups. This is expressing their love. It could be an apology, and that's challenging them because they're not ready to come back just yet. They do want to communicate with you. They do want to come towards you, um, but they're not quite ready. 
and then wow we've got the king of pentacles at the bottom and the six of cups and so you know this is where they're trying to to arrive at is the king of pentacles energy that's when they have everything set up and they feel confident coming towards you for this reunion okay because they do feel like you are their destiny you are their soulmate all right let's see what um let's get some messages from their higher self we're getting the king of wands wow aries this is amazing all the kings are coming through um so this is messages from their higher self and you could i mean i don't know i'm not going to get too much into the signs but i'm just feeling like they have a grand vision for their life with you and um yeah, they're excited about it. They are excited about it. Oh, and here we go with the 10 of cups. So we've seen the eight, nine, and the 10. And part of that vision is them coming back and you guys, you know, walking off into the sunset together is what I'm feeling beautiful. This is what they're really wanting. Um, but this is coming under acceptance, which is challenging them. Let's see what else wants to come through. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, that's a lot of cards. Um, we've got the Nine of Wands. They're not going to give up. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a pause. Reevaluation. It's not time. They're trying to get it together. Um, they're waiting for this difficult cycle in their life to end and they want to work with you. They want to build with you. They want to build toward that 10 of pentacles because you are their love. Okay. They want this partnership with you. Beautiful. Wow. We've got at the bottom of the deck, the King of Cups, the Emperor, and the Lovers. This is like crazy good energy. So you guys, I, I this is incredible. Okay, with the Lovers, this is definitely a soulmate connection. Okay, we've seen that with Destiny, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and now the Lovers. So definitely, definitely a very, very deep connection. With the King of Cups coming through and all the other Kings, I feel that um, for you women out there, you're definitely dealing with a divine masculine. And he is maturing. He is on his journey. He's maturing. He is getting it together. He has had some obstacles in his way, but he's getting it together because this is who he wants to be for you, this divine masculine. He wants to regain control and when he is feeling in control, when he's feeling like he's got it all together, he is going to come towards you. He's going to communicate with you. Now, for the men, um, it's like you may be on this journey, okay? And you are building up your coins. You are cleaning out the cobwebs. You are mastering your emotions and getting it together before you approach your divine feminine. Beautiful. All right, um, let's get some more messages. This is the Hidden Truth Oracle, you guys. I hid who I really am from you. Mm, interesting and you speak to me through music. So what I'm feeling is, because we're getting this page of um, pentacles, 
they may have um they may have presented themselves as being much more together than they actually are is kind of what i'm getting but they have worries just like everybody else and you know um feminines if you're dealing with a masculine i'm just being called to um ask you to send them a lot of unconditional love okay i'm just feeling that they really need it right now because they feel like their life is is kind of falling apart there's a lot of a lot of disappointment for them right now in the material world is what i'm feeling i still remember the good times we shared beautiful you've affected my life significantly for sure okay so i want to take these up i want to see um what their intentions are towards you. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> the Eight of Wands again. So um, for some of you, yeah, they're dying to get back to you. Dying to get back to you. To communicate, to come towards you. Beautiful, beautiful. Ten of Pentacles again. For some of you, I just feel like you you're going to be in a significant relationship with this person and it's going to stand the test of time these are their intentions they're not giving up the nine of wands under the nine of wands they are determined to make their way back to you They want to come back, express their love, their deep love, like they've never expressed it before, okay? So um, I feel like they're going to lay all their cards on the table. And at the, six of, at, the, <laughs> at the Six of Wands, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Six of Wands, again, repeating message. They want to be successful. They want to bring this back around successfully. So beautiful, beautiful. Um, let's see what's in their heart space. <clears throat> I think there's a little sadness with them because we do have this acceptance challenging them. The two of pentacles. Okay, what I'm feeling, this is coming in under the eight of wands. They're going back and forth in their mind because we do have this eight of swords. Um, so what I'm really getting here is they're going back and forth in their mind. They are dying to come towards you. Okay, Aries, they are dying to come towards you, but they want it to be right. They want it to be the perfect time. And then we've got the Hierophant, and this is under the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Um, you know, this can is about traditions and beliefs. It's about wisdom. Um, it's about a mentor. Under the Ten of Pentacles, though, I don't know. I wanted to say this before. I don't want to give anybody false hope, but I feel like some of you are going to marry this person. I really do. It's not going to happen for everybody. Yeah, I, I feel like some of you are really going to marry this person. Beautiful. Even if it seems impossible. Right now. Okay. Um, with the Seven of Wands coming up in their heart... I'm just feeling like they're a little battle worn. It's like they've they've just, you know, have really had to defend themselves about from everything that's coming toward them. And it's, you know, it's been a little disheartening, 
but they're not, you know, it's, they're, they're so determined. This is like, this can be like an unstoppable energy. It's like this guy is on his dragon and he's determined to just fight off all of these other wands. It's like he's, he's determined to be victorious. And we've seen that six of wands several times. This is part of his journey. I say he, it could be a she as well. And then we've got the page of swords. So um, this is kind of, it's not very romantic for what's in their heart space, but you know, it's, uh, they're dealing with so many things. It's like, I do feel that they're, they are closing up their heart a little bit. It's not that they have, don't have love for you. It's just, they're focused on the material world right now. And so, yeah, with the Page of Swords, though, they are wanting to communicate. They are thinking about you, but they're not taking action as much as they want to. We've got the moon, okay? And this is at the bottom of the deck. So, I don't know. It's like they, they there, it, there are some fears coming up for them, and they are just trying to create something in their life so that, that when they do come towards you, um, they have something really, really valuable and stable to offer you. It's really beautiful. I'm, I'm just getting like this really sweet, sweet, loving energy that's coming through. So don't doubt that your person loves you. All right, I want to see um, what may happen in the near future. You guys, I got this beautiful deck. It's um, the Muse Tarot. I love it, but the cards are so thick. It's, it's kind of hard to shuffle them with my little hands. And you know, you guys, my channel has really taken off. My private readings have really taken off. And I just want to say thank you so much um, to all of you who support me through your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, sending me all the love and blessings that you do. It means the world to me. And those of you that reach out to me for private readings, I love connecting with you that way. So thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is the outcome. Wow. Okay. Um, crazy, 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 crazy. Lots of repeating messages. They're all wands. You guys, they're all freaking wands. These are the inspiration cards and these, these are the wands. So we've got the eight of wands again. Oh, they're coming back and they're going to come back big. And then we've got the six of wands again, you guys. So they are expecting victory. They are expecting success. And we've got the muse of materials, which is the king of pentacles. And this keeps coming back. Oh yeah, they are planning something big. They are gonna come back big. Wow, okie dokie, Aries. I don't know. This was pretty incredible. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I would love to hear your comments. And if it did resonate, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the little bell to be notified the next time I upload a video. If you're interested in that, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you lots of love, you guys. See you soon.